Hey there folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into my thanks uh, to uh, my subscribers. I have here my channel page, uh, it's a page I don't normally uh, visit, uh, but I did receive a notification uh, that someone had left a comment on my channel, and that was Miss Toy Collector, hang loose there, and uh, she left a message saying uh, congratulations on reaching 1,000 subscribers, uh, which is really, really cool. Now I knew that I was getting uh, pretty close to 1,000, I just don't uh, know when I actually did reach a thousand but uh, according to this here I'm currently at 1005 now that tends to go up and down uh, that's just the nature of YouTube uh, but I want to just take uh, this time to thank everyone uh, that has subscribed to me either just recently or from the very beginning and uh, also to those that had subscribed but uh, had departed I want to thank them as well because uh, without them I would not have uh, gotten uh, to this uh, mark uh, at this point. And uh, I see I've been on YouTube now uh, for about a year and a half and I think it's a pretty neat milestone and uh, I'm not too concerned about reaching uh, a thousand or more in a short amount of time. It's just uh, a great uh, journey to actually get to this point. And uh, and the journey will continue. I plan to uh, do more vids, of course, uh, just for as long as I think it's fun. And hopefully you enjoy watching them. Uh, I hope uh, you think it's fun as well. And I haven't uh, really thought about doing a 1,000 uh, subscriber contest uh, because there's an ACBA uh, tournament going on, or at least it's going to be... Uh, uh, coming up pretty soon and I don't want to conflict with that so I don't plan to do any sort of contest at the moment uh, maybe in the future who knows and um, so I'm not sure what I was going to do when I hit 1000 subscribers I thought about doing a uh, collection video because uh, that seems to be uh, the number one uh, requested uh, thing of me is to actually show uh, what I have but unfortunately, uh, where I'm currently at, I really don't even have any room for my collection. I basically have two shelves, that's about it. And uh, and if you've seen my videos, or if you know me, you'll know that I have a crap load of stuff. And two shelves is really not enough uh, to display my collection. But uh, I just have two shelves, and I'm still uh, currently uh, adding and removing figures uh, on my display. So I'm not sure if that's even worthy uh, to be shown. <laughs> so, but, uh, well, um, let's see. Maybe uh, I'll show you what I have. <laughs> it is uh, my 1,000 um, subscriber mark. Uh, I'll show you what piddly uh, displayed collection that I have. All right, folks, uh, this is my meager tour of my displayed uh, collection. As I said, I, I really don't have any space where I'm at right now, and I, the only space I have are dedicated to two uh, bookcases of uh, figures, and uh, that equals to about uh, ten shelves. And uh, if you've followed me for a while, or if you know me, I have a crap load of figures. Uh, a lot of them still uh, not opened. Uh, I would say uh, I have about 15% uh, of my uh, collection out of the package. Uh, a lot of it's still waiting to be uh, unboxed or unpackaged and to be displayed. It's just a matter of uh, time uh, by, uh, shooting videos of that. And I'd like to shoot uh, each of my uh, figures as uh, they are in package and then once they uh, uh, get out of package uh, they can get uh, displayed uh, but uh, a lot of it is still in storage as well I would say about 90% uh, of it is still in storage uh, just due to space and hopefully uh, when we get uh, to a, a larger location we'll be able to display uh, more of my collection uh, this here is uh, my Zevos collection. Uh, th this is my favorite action figure. 
uh, line and I just really love this line a short-lived line only about uh, two years at most and about three or four waves of figures and I just love these guys uh, just because of the posability on these guys and they're just generic enough uh, to fit any uh, type of display you want to do and uh, it's just really really cool line uh, they're about five inches in scale and uh, looks like my uh, wife one and only put a couple of uh, frames there. She's a big uh, frame uh, fanatic there. Uh, but uh, I just dedicated this shelf uh, to my Zevos, and uh, I only have about 30% of it uh, out of the package. This is uh, about 30% of what I have, and uh, a lot of them are still in storage, and I want to get them out of storage uh, pretty soon. So now that I have a shelf for my Zevos guys. Uh, we'll go clockwise here, and uh, here's just, uh, I guess, a mix of themes. I'm really uh, undecided uh, on how to display these guys. You can see that the Zevos just all out of uh, a like chaotic type of display there. <laughs> but uh, this is a Halo. I decided to dedicate to Halo this portion of the shelf. Uh, it's about half a noble team there. And a couple more of uh, the guys back there. And I uh, got here uh, the TMNT Turtles from the movie of 2007. And I don't have the NECA set, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully to get that uh, sometime soon. Uh, but I really love these guys. and uh, So I really am not in a rush to get NECA at this point. But I really love those guys. And uh, nothing back here. I don't know what I'll put there. Maybe my Gears of War. I'm not sure. And uh, down here is another uh, mixed theme. I've got uh, some of my uh, opened uh, Street Fighters out here. And I uh, have a whole bunch of Street Fighters here. Not in storage, uh, but just need time to actually uh, get these guys out of the package and shoot a video of them. And... Uh, he got Gen here wondering why his head is on uh, an Iron Man body. And this is just uh, one of those simple head swaps. Uh, this is my Hulk Buster team on there. And uh, here is another, uh, I guess, uh, user created team. I'm going to call this team uh, Winter Wolves. These guys are basically uh, former Soviet Union or Russian or uh, Siberian or whatever uh, that I'll all come together hero and villain alike and uh, just uh, defend the, uh, their motherland I guess <laughs> so and uh, hopefully I can uh, get an Omega Red to add to the team or maybe a custom uh, Red Guardian added there and some other folks as well and uh, this shelf I uh, plan to uh, remove all of these guys uh, because of the space uh, restriction that I have I'm gonna dedicate this shelf to like a, a collection of the month type of thing I'll, like a rotating type of display every month I'll probably display a specific theme for uh, uh, some of the figures that are still in storage and I want to get out and just display at least once uh, <laughs> every once in a while so I thought about doing that uh, this shelf here uh, is just a mix, another mix of lanterns and masters of the universe. There, you can see uh, some of the green lanterns here. And a couple black lanterns there. And a set of yellow lanterns here. That's the, my custom Sinestro that I uh, had uh, worked on. Just a simple head swap and uh, hand swap with a uh, Mosh figure and uh, you think I used uh, the five pack Sinestro that I found loose and uh, speaking of uh, customs there's a, just a very simple custom there this uh, the hands I think of the leftover from the Mosh and uh, that's a winter soldier head there just uh, repainted on there got uh, Masters of the Universe here uh, what little I have opened on there and uh, I've been on a Masters of the Universe kick uh, this month of August I've got a whole bunch of stuff and um, and I was 
undecided about uh, subscribing for 2012. I decided to uh, to wait at the last minute, and uh, I had fallen asleep on the last day <laughs> and woke up at 2 a.m. and see if I decided to go ahead and sign up. But uh, I was still able to sign up after t uh, after 12 on the last day. I don't know if it's going to take effect or not. They took my money. <laughs> But whether they'll refund it because I signed up too late or not, uh, that's to be seen, I guess. And uh, here's just basically the Collect and Connect uh, and Build-A-Figure uh, shelf. I had to lower one of the shelves to accommodate uh, Galactus here. And also some other stuff I've been able to squish in. And I really don't like displaying all this really chaotic type of situation with all these mixtures of themes but uh, again due to space I <laughs> had no choice and that's why I thought about doing that rotating uh, collection of the month type of thing and uh, there's a couple collecting connect figures and Galactus is my only uh, Hasbro build a figure completed at this point I have a uh, parts to build a few others but again they are still in package waiting to be opened and um, some of these guys will end up going to a specific theme like Gorilla Grodd I want to add to my Simeon team but he'll stay with the other collecting connects in the meantime down here uh, this is a shelf here rented out to uh, Munchkin number two and I'm not sure what he's doing here these are just some of his uh, figures. A lot of them uh, are still in a box nearby. I'm not sure what he's going for here. It looks like a corpse theme there. <laughs> so, doomsday. <laughs> uh -uh. I'm not sure what I have planned to do with this. I just stuck a bunch of Marvel Legends at, right now and a couple of 4-inch. Uh, I may put a de dedicate this to 4-inch figures. Uh, a lot of them are still in uh, these boxes here, but um, really undecided at this point. Uh, it's always dusty. You gotta uh, have a rag somewhere. And there, you go. <laughs> this guy. Uh, as soon as I shot the unboxing video of uh, War Machine here, his missile rack uh, snapped off. This uh, was pretty stiff. Really bummed about that. It was shortly right after I uh, shot the unboxing video of that. So, kind of bummed about that. And uh, his stuff is still in the corner there. And uh, there we go. Up here, we have uh, my uh, some of my uh, DC uh, Universe uh, collection there. Uh, Public Enemies, DC Universe Classics, and Young Justice. And... Basically, uh, DC Universe uh, six-inch scale on there, and as I said, some, it's just some of them. A lot of them I still have to open, and uh, I think it's a pretty decent collection. Uh, I think it'll be even better uh, once I get the others uh, out of the uh, package on there. And uh, up here, I uh, just have a, an area dedicated to X-Men. Uh, and I really uh, like to have it dedicated to the 70s, uh, 80s X-Men. That's uh, what I grew up with. Uh, I have Beast ready to go, but he's still uh, waiting to shoot video. And uh, I don't have uh, too many more from the... Uh, 70s or 80s style sculpting. I just have to hunt for them uh, But uh, I really uh, do uh, like that arrow of the X-Men there And uh, here uh, We have uh, my uh, oddball legion basically uh, the misfits of the DC universe <laughs> or the obscure uh, led by of course uh, killer moth my favorite figure uh, from uh, the DC uh, line there and uh, you can see just uh, basically non-A-listers <laughs> on there so, and they are heroes and villains uh, right now uh, we have Forager here is basically the only uh, hero in this group but 
Unfortunate that uh, DC Universe Classics is uh, not coming to an end but being rebranded and uh, they're gonna focus more on the A-listers it seems and uh, from the uh, DC uh, I guess new universe and uh, and it looks like the subscription plan uh, didn't reach the 100% uh, percent goal uh, that Maddie wanted I'm not sure where they're gonna go from there I hope uh, they're gonna go with the subscription anyways uh, that way uh, I be continue to build on the obscure characters and uh, the I guess the team uh, completionists for the team completionists and uh, I really hope uh, the subscription plan will get the go ahead uh, but we'll see on that and uh, this final shelf here is basically dedicated to my love of uh, JSA uh, most of the JSA members that I have opened out of the package so far and uh, this spot here in the front is dedicated to the I guess not founding three but uh, the main three of JSA we got Wildcat and I have uh, Green uh, Lantern uh, Alan Scott Green Lantern uh, ready to uh, be uh, do some video of and get him out of the package and hopefully if the subscri subscription plan goes through to have a Jay Garrick flash right here in the middle there and uh, just really love uh, the JSA there uh, that's not a uh, DC Universe uh, Starman that's an actual uh, DC Direct uh, JSA st uh, Starman there <laughs> so, but he'll fill in the place until uh, the DC Universe version comes out so but uh, just really love uh, the JSA and the theme of family on there. Uh, but uh, that's my uh, meager tour of what I have uh, available to display. I hope you enjoyed uh, that brief tour. Uh, thanks uh, again for everyone uh, that has subscribed to me and uh, helped me get to the 1000 subscriber mark. I really do appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.